Welcome everyone. Uh, as I mentioned uh, in my uh, last uh, video, um, I'm going to be uh, doing the second phase of this uh, SQL with Rockwell PLC uh, series. And in this video, we are going to explore how we're going to log in to multiple uh, SQL servers from our Rockwell PLC. And as you can see in here, um, I have the two uh, SQL server um, information already on the on the on the page in here. So those are the information we're going to need to uh, log into our uh, SQL servers. So let's start. So as you see here, I am already logged in with uh, my uh, PLC. I'm already online with my PLC. And uh, as you can see here, the new uh, program I have here. So I already went ahead and, and import the new program so we can speed up uh, this uh, video and keep it as short as possible. So that's our new uh, member here. And in here, um, we have basically three routines. So as you can see here, uh, I have this routine here is dedicated to the SQL uh, server 2005. And then I have the other SQL server, the 2014. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to add these two routines here so they can be executed. So I'm just going to put them here, SQL 2005, and for the second one I'm just going to copy this and paste it, it's B, and uh, good to go there. So let's compile this, and there we go, so we're good. And uh, just to quickly show you the SQL server, so Here's the, the first one, so here's our database, and then our table, so that's the, the, that's the one we're using in the phase one uh, video series, if you guys recall. Uh, so this one is a 2005, and then, and then also I have this other uh, VMware, uh, as you can see here, running the second SQL server, which is... 2014 so I have uh, different versions in here okay so now I am back to my uh, PLC in here so we can see how that will work so first we'll uh, configure the 2005 um, server so as you can see here um, you guys are already uh, familiar with this add-on instruction uh, from the the phase one video series That's it, and uh, these ones are optional, uh, so I'm not going to bother with those. And I'm going to hit OK. And uh, as we were doing before in the phase one, uh, you know, bringing Wireshark, we're going to do the same thing here. So I'm just going to reset this so we can see what's going to happen um, live. So I'm going to toggle this and then as you can see here uh, we are logged into our SQL 2005 so pretty straightforward uh, for for this this one here so now we're gonna do the same thing for our SQL 2014 um, with just one uh, one parameter that we're gonna have to uh, modify and I'm gonna touch on it so everything can work for us uh, properly. So we can go ahead and uh, open up our add-on instructions so we can start the configuration. So similar to what we did for the 2005 and 
uh, that's about it. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there's a couple parameters we have to also uh, touch on. As you can see here, this create port and write port. So I already have them here set up to 5 and 6. So we have to make sure that these ports are not the same as the other one. So this one here, by default, they are uh, 3 and 4. Uh, so that way we're not using you know the same ports for our second uh, server to communicate. So now all we have to do again, just toggle this. And there we go. Here is our... Uh, response for our second server that we already logged in uh, as you can see here in, in Wireshark so right now we logged in to the both servers at the same time so I hope uh, you uh, enjoyed this content and in the next video uh, now that we logged in to multiple servers we are going to see how we can do uh, simultaneously uh, different tasks 